Hello everyone, my name is the Radman, and we are here for another episode of our course play basics. So in this episode I'm going to show you guys how to use the combi mode uh, to have this tractor automatically unload this combine. So the first step that we're going to have to do is we're going to get the combine set up so that it can be filling up its grain tank while we're setting up the tractor. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to switch it over from combine self unload mode to field work mode. Now this is the mode that we'll be using throughout pretty much every other tutorial with the combine because uh, combine self unloading is unique in that no other courses really use it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to manually dial in which field we are on, which is field 14. And uh, we have a working with the 4.4 meters. You can verify that by clicking the calculator button. I think you could also just click the uh, field edge path thing and it might automatically bring up the right field, but sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, and then you can use current vehicle position and automatic unless you really want to set those yourself which if you do it usually helps to keep in mind the mini map because you know north south east west that way you don't get things mixed up when you're trying to dial them in manually uh, for the sake of simplicity since I'm also going to be using these uh, two fields to show off uh, course play straw baling uh, since there's two ways you can do it I'm uh, not going to uh, have headlands activated, but you can if you want. And uh, multi-tools is something we'll discuss in a later video. So I've got this course generated. I'm going to have it start at the first waypoint. And this course is basically set up now. Um, it does sometimes do that where it'll miss the very beginning unless you turn the header on before you start the course. Uh, and then I'm just going to save this as field 14 small combine. And uh, this is because we're going to use this specific course later for bailing. Uh, but we'll get into m that more in that video. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set this to combi mode, obviously. And then we're going to start a course recording and try and drive straight for our three... Uh, three marks and then since we're actively harvesting this field we're gonna try and stay as much out of the way of that field as we can and then we're just gonna hope that you know we wouldn't be running a course on this field at the same time because it's pretty hard to get to the silos on this map without going in front of at least this field and uh, this grain is just left over from uh, when I was finishing harvesting this field since like I said I'm planning on using it for the next tutorial which uh, I'm not gonna show off the overload mode uh, quite yet um, obviously you know I haven't debated whether I'm gonna put these all into the same playlist or a different playlist for each category like combining and uh, you know field work in general but uh, anyway so now we have two choices and what's going to affect where we stop this course is what mode we're going to use so whether we want it to automatically find a combine or whether we want to manually dial it in so I'm gonna show you how to manually dial it in so that you guys know how to uh, so I'll just stop here and this will be field for oops 14 unload to silo uh, but yeah I'm gonna manually show you guys how to manually do this but uh, if you wanted to do it automatically all you'd have to do is make sure that the tractor when you hit the stop button is within the boundaries of the field like I'm pretty sure this is enough to get the automatic working uh, but the uh, farther you are in the field the better it seems to work I've found uh, one reason you may not want to do that though is of course you do have to park the tractor in the field so if you plan on having all your tractors and stuff ready before the combine starts you can't really have this tractor ready because it'll always automatically drive to the end of the course but anyway 
So now that we've done this, we need to select the combine manually. It's pretty easy because we only own one. Uh, and you just, you know, make sure that it's the right one. Uh, this does get a little trickier uh, when you have two or three combines. So if uh, this is your first time setting up a course, I would recommend using the automatic mode. And especially if you plan on upgrading courses later to use... Uh, you know two or three combines and you don't plan on using overloader mode uh, but anyway so we'll just have it start the next closest point and uh, since it's so near the stop point it just automatically stopped itself and now what it's going to do is based on these preferences what, it, what this means is it will wait until the combine is 45 percent full I'm going to turn this down to 35 because it's pretty close now uh, and then drive on at is used to determine when uh, this trailer or when this tractor will you know move on and you can actually hear since fuel saver mode which I believe is in not this one it's in this oh it is it is in this setting so since fuel saver mode is activated it's turned off the tractor but anyway when this gets to 35 the tractor should roar up to life and sometimes it does take it a second to detect it. Okay. And then sometimes it just decides not to work. Oh, I know what it's doing. So since the combine isn't going to be full this pass, Courseplay has decided not to move yet because the pipe is in the fruit. Um, and this is something that used to not happen and I'm pretty sure the only reason it's in the game is because some people like playing with the crop destruction mod, which if you play with it, you know, good for you. You know, the trailer isn't going to destroy your crops, but if you're like me and you don't play with it, it does mean that sometimes making sure that things are working right can be a little tricky because if you, if you don't see this little text down here, you could wonder, you know, what's going on. Uh, but anyway, so now the pathfinding has taken over, and course play is going to try and get this tractor behind that combine. Ideally, without either of them getting in each other's way, though, the uh, the closer your combine is to the edge of the field, the more likely it seems to be that it'll get bound up on something. So, just keep that in mind. That uh, you know, the only reason I'm having this be at such a low percentage is because we're testing. Um, normally I would run this at around 70 percent because you do want to leave time for the tractor to actually drive over to the combine um, and I would also recommend uh, if you have this type of trailer that isn't very easy to back up you turn on uh, you turn on the option on the combine that turns off or, or stops the combine I should say because and great now we've got a situation that is not very good because uh, this tractor has got stuck in traffic and what you gotta do to fix that is just stop him and then restart him and uh, that'll fix it but the way to keep that from happening in the future is you just come in the combine and you want to turn on stop during unloading because what the, that'll do is it'll make it so that the uh, combine will stop instead of keep driving and uh, if you're having problems with the tractor getting in the way of the combine that's the easiest way to fix it um, but if that does not fix it that usually means that you need a larger combine uh, Okay, now he's trying to go to the waypoint that the Combine wanted him to go, but he's not really sure how to get there. And this is one of the interesting things that can happen. All I wanted to do was have it uh, drive to the... Uh, come on, just, just drive there already. All I wanted to have it do was drive to show you guys that it does unload itself, but... If it gets into a situation like this, the easiest way to fix it is turn it around yourself and then let it drive to wherever it's trying to get to. Because uh, it's it's by no means perfect. It, uh, it can mess up too. But anyway, now it's going to unload itself. And uh, 
Yeah, if you're having trouble with the uh, combine or the uh, tractor getting stuck when they're trying to, you know, back up and maneuver away from each other, the easiest way to fix that is either just adjust your settings on the combine so it stops during unloading so it doesn't get to the edge of a field because if the combine is not at the edge of the field instead of trying to back up the trailer the combine will generally just drive forward and then the trailer can pull into the space behind it um, and that's usually what you want to do if you can but if you can't then uh, usually the best thing to do is try and either not buy one of these trailers that has that uh, you know hinge at the front so I would definitely not try this with like a semi plus you'd need a really big tractor to do that anyway but uh, the other common thing that can cause that is just having a combine that doesn't have a long enough grain spout because I've had it where the uh, tractor should have been able to under all circumstances work but it just didn't because of the length of the grain spout anyway let's turn this down to 20 percent uh, and it's gonna wait until it's in the grain again but I do just wanna check and make sure that switching that setting fixed it which it should but uh, since it's gonna be in the grain uh, we'll have to wait a second so I'll be right back once this uh, combines turned around Okay guys, the combine is just about done turning, so once it's done turning, uh, we'll just verify that that's working, and then that'll be the end of this tutorial. Um, all I can say is if you have repeated trouble with this, I would recommend trying either a smaller tractor with a, uh, um, I don't know what the word is, with a straight frame trailer I think is what they're called. Basically, just don't use a trailer with, that has that bendy part right under the hitch because that causes all types of stress for most uh, most scripted programs actually have issues with those trailers. Uh, but anyway, let's let this unload. And uh, what it should do is now the combine should pull forward instead of trying to make the tractor back up. And that will help uh, relieve the issues a lot and during that phase where the combine backs up is where if your pipe is too short that's where you really get into trouble um, but as you can see it's working now and then what this trailer will do is it will drive into a spot behind the combine and then it'll just stop uh, which is perfectly fine and it'll just keep automatically being filled um, up until it reaches 95% so I'm gonna just set this so it'll be able to finish the field on its own or I go eat breakfast or something and then uh, in the next episode I'm gonna show you guys how to do bailing um, and then we'll, we'll probably either tackle field work or maybe overloading at that point so anyway guys thank you for watching my name is the rad man I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next episode Bye.